Hey, what's going on guys? Justin Fuller here with TrueSpot, and today we're gonna go over some basics. I just wanna show you how to run a search on your phone to find a key and find a car. And if you get into a spot where you can't quite find exactly where it's set in the building, I wanna show you how to use Modar Mode to walk you right up to that key. So let's hop into the phone app and I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, so here we are on the phone app and I'm mirroring my phone onto the screen here so that you can see what's going on. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit that find a key and a find a car button that's in the top left corner of the phone app, right? So we're gonna go ahead and jump into that. Now, once we're in here, it's gonna present me with all of my inventory. So that's what you can see here that I could run the search for. And of course, I can tell if something's tagged, much like this 2019 Audi Q7, I can see the key is tagged, right? The next car down, I can see the car and the key is tagged, and the next one, car and key as well, right? So this is gonna indicate and let me know what's been tagged. So if there was two keys tagged, the main key and the spare, I'd be able to see that as well. So if I jump into that search bar, right? Now I'm gonna have three different options. I could go by VIN and stock number, which I'm initially set up to, and I could type in a partial VIN, a partial stock, you know, whatever portion of it I know. I could go to make if I wanna search by make and model, and it's gonna present me with all the options I have available to in my inventory feed currently. So it's only gonna present you with the cars that you have actually, right? You're not gonna see Ferraris if you don't carry them. So it makes a lot of sense there. Or I can go over to free here and just search whatever I want. Just Ford, Ford F-150, Audi, whatever it may be. So for the sake of this, I'm gonna go ahead and paste in uh, F-150, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, right? And run my search. So boom, it pulls up and now it's gonna show me all of the Ford F-150s that I have that are living here. So if somebody walks on the lot and says, hey, I'm interested in a Ford F-150. I saw one on your website, but I don't remember the stock number, the VIN. Uh, okay, cool. Well, let me pull them all up here, right? I've got five of them. Uh, I've got a 2015, a 2019, 2018, 2018, 2018, right? So we can start narrowing it down real quick. Hey, what color was it, right? Or we can walk around and look at all these if you want. And on here, I can see that we've got both keys tagged to this, but not the car, right? So this is gonna make it real easy and real fast for me to do. So three different ways that you can run this search. So I'm gonna jump back to the main screen here uh, and let's run a search here. So I'm gonna scroll down here and let's find a car here. So we'll do this 2022 Chevy Bolt EUV, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this car. So immediately it's gonna pull up and it's gonna show me where the car is located. So boom, it shows me on the map and I can zoom in and out, right? So this way I can see kind of where in relation to myself. When I'm on this map, I will appear as a blue dot out there. So know that I'll show myself on the map, but right now I'm not in Tennessee, so something to be aware of, right? So as I get closer to that, I'll be able to figure out where I am. And of course I can move the map around and do all those different things so I can find that vehicle. Not only is it showing me, but it's also telling me, it's saying it's the location is the used car lot. So it's telling me right here on the screen and showing me out there on the map, right? If I hit the next button, it's gonna jump over to that key. Now, same thing, it's telling me where it's at location, sells in the Keeper machine as we speak. So these guys use Keeper, uh, you know, key machine management systems. Uh, so I know that the key's in the machine. I can zoom in and out, right? So I know it's in the building. Uh, and then I can even see that car on the screen as well too. So if I had somebody walk in the front door and ask about this specific vehicle, I already know the key is in the machine and I know the car's sitting out front where I'd be like, hey, let me grab the key out of the machine and we'll walk out there together versus what's the standard? Okay, let me go hunt down that key and then let me go find that car and then I disappear for 20 minutes. We're speeding everything up for your staff, right? Now, let's pretend that I got over here to the key, right? And it wasn't in the key machine. It was in, it said, you know, my sales tower or it said, you know, my bullpen where all my sales guys, uh, you know, or the showroom, right? Whatever the, the area may be where there's a bunch of desks and I'm like, oh my God, I gotta find it in here, right? Well, that's where this find a tag button up here comes into play, right above that next button. So when I get over close to this tag, I can hit this button. Now, when I hit this button, what's gonna happen is a white ball is gonna appear in the middle of the screen, right? So right where it's thinking right now. Now, as I walk with my, my phone and I get closer, to that, that, that key tag, it's gonna move down in this dark area where it says immediate, right? And as I walk away from it, or if I go the wrong direction, as I get further away, it's gonna move towards the red area. So a little bit of a game of hot and cold, but it'll walk me right up to that key. So if I am standing out on the lot, and we know that this key shows to be out on the lot, and I think it's in a car, I could turn this on, hold it up the window of the car, and figure out if it's in the car. Same thing, if you're using, let's say, a key track, a keeper, one micro, a key machine where you put the key in, but maybe it didn't register, right? It just didn't go in all the way. And you can see that it says it's in your key machine, but when you go to check it out, it's not there. Well, you could hit find tag, hold this up to the uh, the machine, and then just hold it up to each drawer and figure out which drawer it's in because it's gonna tell you immediate when it lands right above where it's at, right? So know that you can take advantage and use that find a tag button. So not only can you see them on the map, right? And it's telling you on the map where these items are, but it will additionally allow you to hit that find a tag button to walk you right up to it. So if you're struggling to find a key because it's got dropped in a service bay, left it PDI somewhere, right? It's in detail, but God, it could be under rags. It could be under all kinds of different stuff or it just got misplaced in the showroom. Well, let's make life easier on you. Use that find a tag button.